Okay, I'm still working on my grounding system here, and in the shaft, I'm going to use tinned copper braid, which is one inch wide. And uh, I needed a good point to run all my grounds to, you know, like a ground bar. And the price of copper is just getting silly, and I'm looking at, you know, things that are uh, quarter inch, three eighths thick, and I don't really need that inside my shack. I just need a, a simple grounding point. So uh, I'm going to build one on the cheap. Uh, luckily I have a friend who does fabrication. I used to work with him. We used to do aluminum and stainless uh, fabrication. And he still has a shop at his house. So I went over and grabbed myself a nice piece of uh, inch and a half by inch and a half aluminum angle. Now I've already drilled the holes here. I have two holes here so I can lag it down to the bench. And then I have two holes that are uh, 5 sixteenths on the outside that I'm going to use as clamps. And I'll show you why in a minute. And then there's 11 holes for grounding locations. Now the hardware we'll use is a uh, quarter inch, quarter 20. Some what they call fender washers or large flat washers, lock washer and a nut. And what I'm going to do is put one fender washer along the back. Then I'm going to show you in a minute what I'm going to do here in the front. And then we'll put another one down over the braid. Now I ran a uh, copper strap outside. You can probably see it in the corner here where I've got it running in. This goes all the way out to my ground points. Hits two grounding rods outside the window and does, then does an arc around the house which is about 50 foot long with multiple ground rods on it. So I have some of this left over. And I thought, well, why don't I just take a piece of this, lay it on this piece of angle here, and then I have a co copper grounding point. I'll take a nice beefy piece of aluminum another one there and then once I bolt those down I'll have a nice flat uh, strap area and what I can also do is I can run another piece from here to my ground point right here by the window and clamp it back down and then I've got my whole ground system so that's what we're going to do now I've got most of the pieces done I will be using behind the uh, copper aluminum I, I doubt it's going to oxidize much in here, but I will use antioxidants aluminum the copper behind it. And uh, so what I need to do now is just kind of clean this up with some scotch Brite and get it all nice and cleaned up. I got a piece of cardboard here so I don't tear up the bench. Okay. cleaned up. Now I'll just do, I have these marked, you'll see I have little marks in here so I know which way they go on there. I'm just going to do the back side of this real quick. The strap will be what's ground but it's nice to have uh, everything clean that you're going to put together, especially when you're clamping stuff together. Okay, so there we go. Now we need to clean up this. We're going to be cleaning this face here. Now again, the copper is what's going to be the ground. I'm just going to clean it up real quick, just so it's uh, smooth. And I sandwich everything together. Okay, what I did was I used a unibit. And I drilled the one hole and just loosely put this one on here for now. Now what I'm going to need to do is mark the center line of all the holes so I can see it on the aluminum. That way I can transfer it over to the copper and do the same thing with the smaller holes. So make her square. Ok, 
Okay, so now we have all our lines. Come back down here, make sure this is flat. Then I'm going to transfer that same line just in the center of the copper. So I'm going to pop this. That looks like a nice clean hole. There we go. In order to get this so I can get it nice and flat on the other piece, I actually had to make this hole a little bit larger. So when I push it down, I can make sure I can get it nice and flat and there's some play in there. So that's what I've done. Put my other plate on here. Fender washer. 516 bolt. I'll put the nylock on here. Okay, so I have the strap off. It's got the one correct size hole and one a little bit larger for the adjustment. This one is uh, copper to aluminum. Just say. Aluminum to aluminum and aluminum to copper. So there we go. We'll place that on the bar here. The fender washer on the back and the nylock. Just snug that side up. Come down here, we'll make sure this is really on here. Okay, so we got the copper strap on here. It's got the anti-ox behind it. And these I just need to tighten up. And I will drill the rest of the holes. Now it's tight enough for now. Don't do this at home. I got tile floors, but some places if you do that, you're going to get an earful. So try to center punch the centers of each one of these holes here. Everything's center punched. Let's drill some holes. So there we go. Got all the holes in. Let's try some hardware.
there we go. The ground bar on the cheap. Now the hardware, this hardware here and the hardware I used to go through here to hold these blocks, I think came out to $9 at the home improvement store. And that also included this other hardware here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and hopefully you can see me. And I'm going to take two of these blocks up here on the sill and I'm going to sandwich my copper over to my bar here. So that also included the hardware for this, which was flat washer going through and another nylock. And then, as you can see, I have the plywood shack table right now, so I don't really care. I'm just going to lag it right to the table. So that's it. It came out pretty cool.